searching through storage for my wedding clothes, I ignored my white wedding dress and I searched for my wedding veil. It might not be true to my Halloween costume, but I had to wear something that would show that my black long sleeve dress was actually a wedding dress. I'll carry a small bunch of flowers. They're over there right now. I carry a small bunch of white flowers for what would otherwise seem like a goth wedding, so it would look complete. But, but still, I had to explain that my Halloween costume was my interpretation of Marie Curie on her wedding day. I mean, I had to wear this for my Halloween costume. I mean, I'm reading poetry for every element of the periodic table. I knew that Marie Curie discovered a few of these elements herself, and one of them was even named after her. And maybe it wasn't goth, but a diligent work ethic that caused Marie Curie on her own wedding day to wear a black dress so that she could wear that same black dress later for her work. And yeah, when she worked, she was getting messy with the radioactive elements. There go the black dress, I suppose. But when she studied the radioactivity of some elements, seeming higher at times, she deduced that there must be something else causing that radiation. And there was. She even coined the term radioactivity while she discovered two elements that were radioactive, radium and polonium. But looking back at her life, maybe wearing the black dress was appropriate because she soared in all the schooling she could legally take because at the time she couldn't enroll in higher education because she was female. So she eventually had to go underground for learning for higher education in makeshift classrooms that lasted only a few days before the government raids would cause the schooling to have to move again. <laughs> So she then left Poland for Paris and was able to go to school, but she was still penniless and hungry. But after her second degree, she met her Pierre, who worked with her, and he even was working with her after their marriage, where they actually gave each other bicycles as wedding gifts. I know, I know, I'm going on and on about Marie Curie for my Halloween costume, and there's even an element named after her, but she didn't discover that element. So does Curie have any relationship to Marie Curie? Well, other than the fact that Curium is radioactive, Curium is actually one of the most radioactive elements, Curium is now used to help scientists learn and discover much the way Marie Curie did. Curium helps people. It's there to help people like for powering artificial pacemakers. But it's even used in alpha particle X-ray spectrometers that are installed on the lunar and Mars rovers, like the Sojourner or the Spirit and Opportunity rovers. It's even used on a spacecraft to probe the surface of a comet. <laughs> hmm. Because it's radioactive, curium is dangerous to us humans even though it really does have a certain glow to it. But it's nice to know that, like Marie Curie, we can use this element to research and learn. Besides, being a goth girl and loving to dive into my work, it's really making me take a shine to this whole black wedding dress thing. Thank you.